Well, howdy, partners. It's been a while since we played some Life is Strange. It's one of my favorite uh, game series of all time, so let's go ahead and get into it. I guarantee you it'd be worth it, I promise. <laughs> it's a great game. HR block for life. Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. This game is great. Is this super loud to y'all? I feel like it's really loud for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it just a tad bit down. Ooh. Thumbsticks are a, a little... Instead of settings, settings. Still super sensitive, you know, we'll just rock with it. She said that she turned it down some more. Okay. Okay, much better. Cool. No way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel Da Vinci to repaint. I'm so freaking tired. <laughs> I sound like a moron. But crime does not delay. I need to stay on top of this investigation. This is so super loud. Okay. How did Sherlock Holmes deduce anything without the internet? Glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting Kate. Now she has another video of herself all over the web. And even I'm in this one. Oh, at least the news didn't mention my name. Yet. Hmm. Huh. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. I shouldn't sound so disappointed. I sure hope these people treat her better when she comes back to school. If she does. Man, I really turned a molehill into a mountain. I feel bad for Mr. Jefferson about this. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. First I save Chloe, then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. Let's go save the plant. We gotta feed the bunny. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. 
Sorry, Water Mafia. We got two sips so far. Two sips. Hydro Mafia. Hey, Bunny. Kate will be back soon, and until then, I'll be catering to your every whim. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Hydrate Take a breath. Or Get your shit together. You have time. I think we've looked at just about everything in here. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She was basically pushed up to that roof, and I will use my power to find out why. This has to end. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. Feels bad, dude. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Okay. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be. Oh, she's not gonna say light, but I see. I thought this game was super loud. Okay, let's see what we got here. That better. The end of the world might be coming before your party. I heard sounds. In the bathroom. Oh. Howdy, partner. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Does it sound better? Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> Shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will, like, make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. We missed some dialogue out here. Let's see if we can... Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Mm. I like I, really do need to get some sleep, Max. I feel like there's some more information we can get out of here, and if not, then I'm just wrong. But let's see. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? 
I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. I won't say a word. I swear to dog. I believe you, Max. Besides Victoria, you're the only one who asked me about my mom in the hospital. That meant a lot to me. I'm my own person, too. Let me know if you need anything. Okay, I guess Thanks. there wasn't anything. You're, like, weird, but pretty cool, Max. Especially after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Beans. Brush her teeth. Jeez, Taylor actually seems concerned about Kate. Mm. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Let's go through her shit! Oh, hey, what's this? So much hypocrite. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. Going through her shit. Let's figure out where she went. Since I've crossed the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. You get to see the socks. I'll title shadows. this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. Desk. Yeah, here she was. Those boots are made for walking runways. Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Let's go through her backpack. Her point of view is right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Mm. Excellent. Overall researched essay with unique point of view. A. More in day expressions for God. A sticker. First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Dirty. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Glow in the dark. Does it actually glow in the dark? I want to see. Oh, it does! That's so neat. Okay. There has to be some dirt in here on Victoria. Let's go! Committing Boom. crimes. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Uh, hey, sweet tea, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. How can anybody do fucking homework after somebody just almost jumps off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live. It was like watching a reality show. I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps to meet up later. A girl needs a serious curfew cocktail. Uh, well, drink to Kate. Okay, so uh, what a trip that was today seeing Max and Kate like that. I need a drink too. Let me know what time. So they went out. Is that it? Oh, oh my god. Well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Okay, that's all on her computer. Okay, so they went. <sighs> Nothing to see here. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. It was on here. What was on mine? I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. It's a poem. It's a whole poem. 
else we got here? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Mm. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? I know Jefferson got reamed by the principal. Do you think they're involved? I'm not sure His yet, life is but strange. I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm he does going to find like out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherla? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Vortex Club sticker. Her ball. Probably she was just snooping through her trash right in front of her. Whoa, I can't believe it's in the dark. I just want you to know you're in our pocket. Okay. Yeah, position the flashlight just by praying for a fast recovery. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. I'll leave the girl's dorm. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. The bench. Can we sit on it? We're gonna sit on it for a second. I feel so giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Squirrel playing with the fire. Oh, I'm gonna show you movie from Cadet as in gear now, Max. We're, we're almost there. We're gonna go for it. I just think. Thanks for running your risk. I'm cute tonight. Okay, cool. Yup. Look at the lens and say nut. Nut. Gotcha. Here. Oh, it's unlocked. 
I hope Samuel isn't around. Yeah, he's just hiding in the corner in here somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Nothing here. Nothing but tools. Nothing but tools. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Anything else? Girls, girl stuff. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Okay, well. That's it. We got girl stuff. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Okay. Did we get everything? Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he down. sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. I think he's drunk. Yeah, he's got Max the Ninja strikes again. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. I didn't like that you one. like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. Then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Mr. Jefferson in trouble. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Kicking it in Los Angeles? That would be the best case scenario. She wouldn't leave without me, okay? And how often do missing girls turn up? We have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Light the light. I'm there. so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Somebody was just in there, you guys. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. 
I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? The contest will go on. I just won't be representing Blackwell at the event this year, thanks to Max, who claims I enabled Kate Marsh's trouble by merely listening to her. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria. I won't be going to San Francisco, remember? You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? I can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. This is indeed a crime. More door and our work here is done. <laughs> Breaking in and entering. Doesn't matter if you have the key or not. Oh, while we're in here, we're gonna snoop around the secretary's desk. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Like all well, of his we whiskey. We definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. On this wall of keys right here. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Oh. Haunting hat? Who hunts? Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Okay. Crap. Books. Boring. Books. What else we got? We got more books. Dead end. Books. One more drawer. Nothing more books. <laughs> no key for thee. We have to find no another way in. No key for thee. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Is it Warren? 
Can we call in Warren? Hey, Warren, you busy? Heck yeah. Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Okay, did you 007? Oh, well. Gonna scroll up. Okay, now pay attention, 007. You have to find four objects. One sugar, one, or two, I can't count. A soda can, three duct tape, four sodium chloride. Here's how you do it. Put the sugar in the can with the duct tape and the sodium chloride. Okay, with, yup, and then it's a bomb. Any questions? Sodium chloride. It's just a powder used to create chlorine dioxide. Should everybody knows that. So you're really gonna try this? The keyword is try. I bow to your wisdom. Cool. Does this mean we have unread text from our parents? Ah. Well, uh, we did that. We read that. Um, proud of you. Sorry, Mama. Sorry, Cooper. I just swear they swear to be good children. Cooper, our black hero. Miss your voice. Proud. Let's smoke this moment. Uh, cool. Okay, here we go. Yo, Supermax, how's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero is still shaking with nerves. Hero boss, no, <laughs> but no emoji. I forgot my favorite teacher has been in Yami. Do you own that school? Listen, something weird and scary is going on at Blackwell. It's time for us to get together. Okay, we read those. birthday cool beans cool beans warren is such a classic nerd let's see if i can find those items i think there's a vending machine yep right pop this vending machine release the crack can oh no that was Don't a mine bad anything. pun all right so we gotta get Only to the three more items to go science Yeah, science class. Open. So all of these rooms Gross. are unlocked. I hate that formalin smell. Oh. <laughs> An A minus? All right, all right. So Dr. Max did help Warren this morning. Very nice. A minus. Did we change the grade? I'm gonna take the sugar first. Ooh, Chat, sugar. did we change the grade? We change Warren's grade. You're halfway home, Max. Oh. He's still there. Did you blow up? Max. The hair didn't blow up, not yet. I need to concentrate to talk to you later. I never said they were great, troll. Say Max takes. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, Fish Fish. Thanks, Fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. Mm. I don't know. 
should we should we change the grade? What do we think? Yeah, why not? We deserve <laughs> way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. This action will have consequences. What kind of consequences will it have? I don't think an A minus is that bad. I don't think an A minus is that bad. So glad you still have your locker, Kate. This is like a scene in a horror film. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Oh, I don't know if I would say that style. Oh, Kate. Even when you were sad, you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? I say one stupid thing and Mr. Jefferson gets screwed. <laughs> nice going, Max. Dear Mark, I just wanted to drop in and uh, drop you an informal note to let you know that Blackwell is conducting an investigation into the events of this week. You'll be receiving an official notice in the mail, but you deserve to be told about this now. I respect your work and status here at Blackwell and hope you won't think too harsh of me in this very difficult time. I hope this all works out in your favor, Raymond Wells. Okay. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Max, if you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, <laughs> give it up. Oh, they're in the science lab and I just totally missed it. Oh, but there's the duct tape. I'm gonna take that. The tape is mine. Only one more ingredient left. Sodium chlorate in the lab that we were supposed to go to earlier. We were in, and I just totally missed it. There's got to be something I can use here. It's here in the chemistry stuff. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Oh, well. Ooh, gross. At least switch to E6. They're all bad for you, don't smoke. <laughs> and. Science book. So, sodium chlorate is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. That factoid. No, this mixture doth not work. Doth not work. Ass biology. Ugh, oh, gross. <laughs> Ass biology. I probably should find those items now. Me. A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. You know, I've never thought Max, about that. If you can't find sodium chlorate in the science lab, I... give it up. I'm looking. Why not even in here? It's a false clue. Okay, let's go. Is it like a maintenance closet? Sodium chlorate. Don't know where it is because it's also we 
painkiller. It's lined up to where it says meme instead of me. Sorry. A long time ago, in a girl's room right here. Oh, I guess it is. You would think it would be in like a custodial closet. Maybe I'm just dumb. Right back into the science class where we go. Max, if you can't find I'm sodium chloride in the science lab, for it. give it up. I'm not giving it up. Okay, gotta look for some weed killer. Weed schmiller. I feel like I've looked at all of these classes. Look at that chemistry stuff. Do not open. Well, BD. My homies in Christ, where is this weed killer? Gardening Max, club? If you can't find sodium Girl. chloride in the science lab, give it up. Blood donation. Gun free zone. Okay, is there like a maintenance closet? Bathrooms? I'm having such a hard time finding this. No trophy will help Blackwell's reputation now. Is this weed killer? Max, if you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. I'm having a really hard time. Okay. Oh. Here's the sodium chloride box. Perhaps I'm gonna dump it all over me, get in my eyes. Clumps. Yeah, don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. We did it. Now let's make a door bomb. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Also directionally challenged.
take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. Cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? It's like the pipe bomb never existed. Close that door. This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. I can get this bastard open. She can't cheat with a ring on. Oh, this bullshit fucking door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. <laughs> I'm gonna pilfer the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. Go through the office. Okay, turn on. Kate's file. Search. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Oof. Okay, student information to Kate Beverly Marsh. GPA 3.9. Kate Marsh represents the best of the students at Blackwell Academy. Her GPA is consistently outstanding along with her optimistic attitude and quiet work ethic. Her extracurricular activities with the Meals on Wheels program has been acknowledged by K-Bay 7 News. And her diverse religious studies group has been a welcome addition to the wide, wide range of student-led spiritual programs at Blackwell. She also has one of the best attendance records in the school's history. Well, that's pretty neat. Principal Wells, as the school nurse, I should inform that Kate March appears to have experienced some recent emotional and physical trauma. I spoke to her briefly, and she was upset, upset but vague and refused to, for, to talk to me. Ah, can't read. Further with, To talk further with me. Mm. I think it's important that... Oh, my water bottle's leaking. Um, I think it's important that we keep our eyes on her, make sure she's not under duress from other classmates, as is my suspicion regards Amory Grinchy. Update at present time, there is a security investigation into a controversial video allegedly featuring Kate Marsh at a Vortex Club party that has been uploaded to the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent, along with her claim of being taken to the hospital during the party. See the attached file for complete details. Cool. Only two more files to go. Oh, we have to have one card. I certainly can't use this. Look. It looks like an oil painting spill. Awful. Look at this pile. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay. 
Um, update. Unfortunately, Emperor, Rachel Emperor stopped attending class for the past month. She has left no contact with students or faculty for the past few months. Her parents are at the present unaware of her rare whereabouts, and Blackwell hopes for a quick return to continue her academic excellence. Brief summary. Rachel Emperor is the quintessential student representation of Blackwell Academy. She excels in all of her studies and extracurricular activities, which are numerous. Uh, popular with both students and faculty, she has the de facto qualities of scholarship and leadership that is the, a hallmark of Blackwell's legacy. Her, device, her diverse goals include a career in international law and fashion modeling. There is no doubt that Rachel will achieve all of her dreams of Blackwell as the fulcrum. Principal Wells is Lieutenant Rossi. Um, just want to let you know that Rachel Amber's investigation has officially been closed on our end. We always hope for that one magic clue, but once again, Arcadia Bay covers up another secret. We always keep our eyes and ears open, but that's all we can do for now. Um, thanks for all your help. We can make this work with Arcadia Bay Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. <laughs> What's her GPA? 4.0. A 1.7. Chloe Elizabeth Price. Chloe Price is a problematic student at Blackwell, despite the best efforts of the faculty and administration to guide her academically. Chloe does little homework and is often willfully belligerent to her teachers. She has caused numerous class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. Even though Chloe is an intelligent student with potential, she chooses to squander it on empty rebellion against not a non-mandatory institution. Update Chloe Price is no longer a student at Blackwell, see attached report. Her birthday is on March 11th. Her birthday is in six days, guys. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. 3.7 GPA. Nathan Prescott continues his family's historical legacy at Blackwell Academy with a stellar academic record and a variety of extracurricular activities, including a work including work with the Arcadia Bay Homeless Fund. Nathan is also popular with students and faculty. He stands as a proud representation of Blackwell. Hmm. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. <laughs> All the phone numbers are the same. Anyway, um, a 2.8, let's see. Um, Max, as she prefers to be called, is considered a quiet, attentive student with much potential for her photography. Her GPA fluctuates and she has acknowledged, has acknowledged she should be doing better. Her teachers back up her quiet intelligence, though some complaints find her too nervous and nosy. Some faculty members would like Max to speak up more in class and be more assertive. Others would like her to be less so, but this is a common student suggestion rather than a specific recommendation. Update, despite some recent confrontations with Blackwell security, Max showed herself to represent the very best of Blackwell Academy by stopping fellow student Kate Marsh from jumping off the dormitory roof today. At this time, there's an ongoing police and faculty investigation, but Max's heroism is undisputed. This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Um... Uh, Victoria Chase is the gold standard for Blackwell Academy, a student with a consistently high GPA in extracurricular activities that reflect her career goals in photography. Victoria also receives high marks from the faculty for her devotion to the Vortex Club, among other organizations devoted to Blackwell spirit and history. I have to make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. Yeah, there's no criminal background here. Warren is considered an exemplary student. It represents a long tradition of excellence in science at Blackwell. He has the gift or curse of gab depending on the faculty. Some have accused him of playing science pranks, but this is not confirmed by his teacher, Mrs. Brand. We hope Warren focuses his academic vision and continues towards his bright future. Cool. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Yeah, I guess being a bully is in the Prescott DNA. Principal Wells has come to my attention the Prescott family crest has been removed from the library wall for no apparent reason. This local historical crest is required as per the donation terms to the library, or the donation will be rescinded, among others, for the school. Along with that, I understand that the tragic event involving Miss Marsh gives you pause, but I would suggest that canceling Thursday's party is not conducive. To the can-do spirit of Blackwell Academy, I expect you to reconsider and come to the same obvious conclusion. Thank you, Sean Prescott. Hmm. What's this letter? That 
is so cool that my signature actually counted. Go, Miss Grant. Uh, dear Miss Grant, as principal of Blackwell Academy, it is my glad, happy, fortunate duty to inform you that your petition to block the installation of a new surveillance system has received enough signatures for the school to reject the plan. It is not my policy to take sides in these matters. It's to encourage the faculty and student body to participate in their school's operation. However, I did recognize the controversial nature of these cameras and shared your concern for possible invasions of privacy. Thank you for your passion and for inspiring Blackwell students to make their voices heard. I hope they will feel empowered by the outcome of your petition as principal. Mm. You're not so tacky up close. Okay, did we get everything in here? I think we did. Oop. What's this? Whiskey bottle? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. Okay, I think that's everything. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus? And my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott the third. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? The Prescotts always get their money's worth. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. Super Hebros. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Garage Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. <laughs> Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. Leave the money. We are upsetting you citizens really here. You really wanna take money from the handicapped fund? Not from the handicapped fund, bro. I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. I hope that consequences aren't bad. Let's just see what let's let's just see let's just see what the dialogue looks like there. You better come check out these files. Nathan ac
Frank knows things about Rachel, and he might talk if he's been paid, right? You are Supermax. And with the leftover dough, I'll take you on a road trip to Portland for the day. We'll stock up on tats, beer, weed, and donuts, and books from Powell's, and strip clubs. Kidding. But you never know. I feel like shit for taking that money. Yo. Gonna leave it here. Max, Nathan. If you really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse choking wad of cash. But yes, moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. A good bad influence. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Girls, of course. Girls, ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. The wit, it burns. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your, no. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Hmm. Flippers in a swimming pool? Are they training Navy frogmen here? Those look like the most cozy, comfy towels in towel history. Want. If I could rewind back to the 1940s, I'd get in serious trouble. Girls can swim too. Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. Where does that other sock go? Okay. 
This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Sorry, Rachel. As my last night. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, pink goo. I see why everybody brings their own soap. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> you wish, Max. You just look like a snoop. This one is almost empty. The guys must like their pink goo. Max Caulfield, moral avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. That meme face is so old. Oh no, it's old meme. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. I bet you do. Welcome to 1950. It's a prehistoric one from the dawn of the internet. Yeah, it is. Oh, geez, that was an old meme. Sometimes. E-cigarette. Some poor hipster lost their vape. I lost my... Somebody lost their jewel, bro. It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs. Yes, right? Mm. Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? He's got a big old crush on you, Max. Don't be an idiot. I just hit my elbow on my water bottle. All I want to do is be sad. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Probably sweaty. Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? We snoop! Anything about... Mm -hmm. Locker room only wearing a jersey. This must be for training kids. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. Not their Blackwell spirit. Soda can. I guess I should consider this evolution. Yeah, I'm an a hole, but I some conventional. Boys' locker room is right. I love how this game is still remastered and they kept the the really old. Oh, it's a shark! Just when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. Um, they kept the really old me. No running. I'm gonna run all I want. It's so dark in here. Guessless. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Decisions, decisions. We can remove people from here? Oh, I'm sorry. Your names are not on the list. You'll have to eat shit now. Looks like I'm the Vortex Club bouncer. Oh, but who did we remove, decisions, though? Decisions, decisions. Ah, uh, it's probably not a big deal. Chloe just couldn't wait to splish splash in the pool. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. I 
In case I run out of air, I know where to come. There has to run be out of air. You're going to be dead. Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Yes, we get it. Otters. Don't even think I'm going to make a move on you. CPR them. Halloween pumpkin. Aw, look at the baby Halloween pumpkin. So, the big plan is win. Nice. It's a bright light. I can't have shit in this house. Oh. Time to do or die, Max. Oh yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. <laughs> Chilling in I'll a just hot rewind tub five feet apart. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out for Kate's sake. She almost died today. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like... This force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Not that time. But that's because you were there to kickstart my power. So it's time to start moving forward in time. And... We're obviously connected, since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. You're the bro killer. <laughs> Tats and tood. You did not just say that. Plus, I am not down with these Arcadia Bay hillbillies. I don't blame you. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry, right? No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, otter versus shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out.
gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Figure out how to get out of here. Oh. We have to go now. Make sure you cover the whole room. Are you shitting me? Dude, it was almost too easy. Dude, hide. Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? And this all. Hello? Anybody there? Nope. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Visible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer I just busted lives so I'll be safe? Okay. Into the car! Get in! <laughs> Later, fuckers! Max, you rock! We are so fucking awesome! <laughs> yes, we so are. Could have made it quieter, get away. Just my opinion. Right, take a selfie. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. A skid mark. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, 
Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, I know for sure I'll have a test this today. song is copyrighted. I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular yeah, schedule. Favorite time, we will love red eyes. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Get out of this room as fast as possible. <laughs> keep waving at the taxis, they keep turning. Okay, I need to get dressed now. I love this song. I do too. Put some clothes on first, oh. Hillbilly. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Alright, where are my clothes? I gotta get out of here. Get dressed. Get dressed. Ew. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. Well, are we gonna. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hall. Fashion hall? Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I wasn't listening to this dialogue at all. Kiss me now. This is a huge decision? Sorry, not that easy. Oh, like I am? Just admit that you already macked on me, then used your rewind. Now I can text Warren that you're saving yourself all for him. I am so going to best unfriend you for that. I love that Chloe is so fearless. I take a look at both of these dialogue settings. I guess that's what we do around Find here. A suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay, time for some Morning, such Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh man, that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. I don't know what consequences these would have. What was normal in the evening by the morning seems insane. And I'm not sure what the truth looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Yeah, the thrasher, bro. Shaka bra. Maybe not. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. Her. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Oh my god. That hey, Dark Tail, so thanks so much for the follow. I really appreciate it. It's like when we were kids here. Okay. Nice things. You from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at the school. The only one who truly cared. I had her 
Uh, I have to believe that you were sent to give me hope. I'm really bad at reading. Uh, you did so much for me. Uh, yep. Uh, glad you're okay. Cool. Warren. Uh, I'm glad to see you didn't blow up. By the way, driving is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now unless you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't pack out now. Cool. Gonna brush our teeth. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and the hiding. Wait, that bird is still in here? Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. What's using... ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Using her toothbrush now. What are we gonna do about this bird, bro? <laughs> revenge. Yeah, revenge on using her toothbrush now. I better not go in there. Oh. David might be in bed. How, Ew. how are we gonna get this bird out? Joyce <laughs> making pancakes. <laughs> that we saw this last time. Hey, Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Rip. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Pancakes or eggs and bacon? I'm gonna go with pancakes. I like I'm pancakes. dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William. And he loved them. I remember. We would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problemo. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Oh. oh, it's been left out. Now for the mother's milk. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Flash the freaking apocalypse. Apocalypse soon. Superheroine saves suicidal past life. Neat. Is that a donut or bagel? It's a bagel. It's a bagel. Who drinks beer this early around here? I don't know if there's anything new to look at around here. Oh, bird. Oh, is that bird dead? I wonder how these birds died. I feel bad that a bird died. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. Me too. I was scared of heights when I was Chloe a child. is still trying to get high. I'm still scared of heights. I'm kind of sad that bird died, though.
Jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. What's that bird? Bird? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Scare it. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. This sliding door open. Oh, but I don't need to walk out there, homies. Oh, I need to open the window. Okay, sorry, Burb. Open. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Gotta go all the way around the room again. Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! All right, one more time. Low fat milk. We did it. Okay, so Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Actually, yes. Yes, she is. <laughs> Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. Oh, you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Oh, I'm so excited for these pancakes. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. Those three, three pancakes? Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. 
Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. <laughs> William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> I'm a waffles oh, person. It was the last like, picture he ever took. I like pancakes, but if it's a he waffles or pancakes, I'm a waffles cow. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want waffles to have, have the edge, but French toast this is supreme. This is when my baby was so full of life. Freaking love French life. toast. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? Rip. It's not always about you. The chlorine Chloe, please. messed it's up the diner hair, bro. In a fight. Heat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, oh, run off and I eat, eat like a you whole... should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? I eat like a whole Just loaf of bread when I eat stuff. French toast. Nobody else does. I can eat French I do toast need to get all day. David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. Put me straight to a food How box. about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. I also um, absolutely just like throw as much powdered sugar and maple syrup on it as Nothing possible. And it's not even like the real maple syrup. It's like the whatever corn syrup full of sugar. Oh, that's cute. That Maybe I can put I on it. Stepdad for the password. Um, I, I, I should have diabetes the way I eat, um... The way I eat... French toast, but... <sighs> Try wow. again. Okay. Wasn't that? Did we get anything in this cupboard? Nothing, it was just food. Nothing to see here. Corned beef. Makes good Rubens. Oh. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. I don't think that's it. Nothing in it. Oh, I don't call 911. I thought it said don't call 911. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Rubens are great. I'm a huge fan of I Rubens. could try the license number for the password. So many potential, like, passwords. This man Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Possibilities are endless. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Rubens and Cubans are both up there as S tier sandwiches. I agree. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password.
Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Uh, it was more having the general. It was nice to know that gentleman still exists at the junction. Would you make it soon? By the way, their name is Joyce. That might be a useful password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I used to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich every day for lunch. But I bet David has all of his um, surveillance secrets in his laptop. But if you put um, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Shit balls. Um, you put Cheetos Worst on a PB and J. Ten out of ten. Oh no! Totally froze the laptop. Cheetos on a PB on a PB and J. Magic Eight Ball says no. We're in. Score. Max the hacker strikes again. It Whoa. was the day he met Joyce. Spoiler Joyce's. alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Uh, Rachel has been cutting class all week. Frank and Rachel meet once again. Rachel avoids her dormitory, followed Rachel to the lighthouse. Rachel Amber 18 was picked up at 2.35 p.m. at Blackwell Academy for possession of a controlled substance. There was, this was reported by David Madsen, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called in to question Ms. Amber, who responded with threats and denials. Her bag was for, uh, found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. If you don't like Cheetos, you can sub for Doritos, like the nacho cheese ones, on a PB&J. 10 out of 10. Um, Kate and M follow the same path to every class. My mom ate them together sometimes when we all had some popcorn to go with PBJ, especially if we're having a family movie night. That is a fantastic combination. That sounds really good. I overheard Kate and Dana W talking about supplies for Vortex Club Party drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs? Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. <laughs> If you learn anything from tonight, don't trust me about goatees. Um, Kate has kept to herself since four typical party, not even church. Drugs tried to talk to Kate about the party. She got upset, ran guilty. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I uh, better tell no Chloe comic. about this. Whoa. Instead of this is so wrong. Oh, creepy Three bastard. With all sandwiches, both with and on. <laughs> Uh, all on aliases, Max, Mad Max, Max Factor, Noir, Angel. Put in Max's class schedule. Oh, okay, that was it then. Yeah, I I will eat my. I use I use almond butter and jelly now. Almond butter and jelly, great with Cheetos on the sandwich. It gives it this texture. Mm I just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. It was all about so much about Kate when no one else thinks to let her know you care too. If you're running to a party, I'd love to style you up if you want. If I do go, I would love for you to tell everybody how much I love you. X O Max O. I hate that. Ah! Ha -ha. Nice breakfast. David, you you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras. 
so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now. Yeah, Chloe. he's just a security he's guard. Loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Oh no. Um, best kind of jelly for like an almond butter and jelly sandwich? Strawberry. 10 out of 10. If you're doing it with cornbread, blackberry. But blueberry is also really good. Ooh, I don't know who to side with. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your That's family and at your work. That's a painful choice between the two. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I hope she doesn't too, but it happens. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? But blueberry jelly is really good. Oh, I'm hungry for toast now. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. David, he probably doesn't want to talk. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yup, he was mad. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Yeah, he mm. he got ganged up on a little hard. But <laughs> right, I feel no like way. Joyce she was just really deserved to, to know Frank. about if you're not gonna believe me, the cameras. Why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. I didn't rewind it because he said when you women always have to stick together. I was like, ah, uh, no. He can get ganged up on. He can get ganged up on. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Because I thought about going through the other dialogue. Okay, here's the plan. Dialogue. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then but, you come uh, in and wind so Frank doesn't see me. Then that you comment can really brought my ears into dirt. RV, and then right you into dust. After you get the key and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Gotta get Frank's keys. Diner, that's Chloe's truck. And, have, oh wait. Maxine Popier, I start, oh. Um, I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl as I am. We have no doubt sending you to Blackwell is the best thing you ever demanded to do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and seeing it act and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. Um, and if you want to come back home now to relax, it 
Maybe we go to a high school run here. The door is wide open. Love pop. Thanks, pop. It's been a whirlwind run here. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Is that a dead bird? The dead bird. The birds are dying. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? The burbs are both... <laughs> the burbs are both everywhere and dying. I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. It's rough, dude. Let's find his keys. Good lord. Bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Uh, okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get his boat tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off from the freaking nerds. <laughs> Nathan, what are you doing here? Yitch. Nathan and Frank together? That's a bad combo. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. Oh, keys. Keys. I got distracted by the jukebox. Wall of Fame. We already looked at that. Food counter. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. You can tell Max doesn't have ADHD. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Postcards. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. <laughs> keys. <laughs> the poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. What's up, Frank? This can. I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so... What are you eating? Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Beans? For breakfast? Beans? Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? Let's talk to him first. Ask him nicely for his keys. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? I want your keys! How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. That's rough. Being a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. The cowboy breakfast, just need a little bacon and eggs. Oh, okay. Talk to the cop. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. <laughs> he's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but... <laughs> Camera angle too... though, dude. He's eager to be a dick to me. <gasps> That's true. That one, he was ranting about a good. stolen gun, good. and I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. <laughs> What can I do for you, Max? Tell me about... Nathan. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. What do they represent? Take Tell me. Arcadia Bay? Tell You're me. not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. 
Gonna rewind, talk to the cop. Oh. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new, new nickname, nickname around, around the bay. bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks. I'm glad you're representing Black Wolf. Okay, let's talk about Weird Town. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal Ooh, problems. Ooh, she almost that. got me again. That That's was funny. That was it. good. Okay, let's talk about Kate. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Prescott. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What can I do for you, Max? There she is. All right. Thanks. I'm Continue. I'm glad. Keep going. Oh, okay. Rachel. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic. Watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Mm. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Rachel! Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Holy shit, what do you want now? Mm. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Rachel. Oh. I bet yeah. you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You were so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Mm. Holy shit, what do you want now? I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. 
And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Oh, this is stuff to ask Frank or stuff we could ask him. Ugh. So much talking. Back Rachel! And forth. I don't give a. Okay. Blood oath. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. So much rewinding. This is this is the reason why we, we had to work harder to hit Kate off that roof. Okay. Rachel! Keep going! Next. Yes. Okay. Deep. Oh, me too, dude. Don't. Don't do this to me. What can I do for you, Max? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. Ah, I can't stop Frank laughing, bro. Puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Fine. What can I do for you, Max? Well, I heard a rumor you were working for oh, the did I already do this part? on the side. Jesus. I don't blame you. Look, sometimes I check. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here. Judge for yourself. This guy eats so loud. The magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. Nope, we're just gonna take the keys. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! That was a bad move. Look at the picture, bro. He brought. Now back to Chloe. Oh, we still have the keys. We still have the keys. Alyssa, <coughs> what are you doing? You're about to get splashed. Yeah. Kidding me? Oh, a little too late. Keep going. Alyssa, watch out! Quit thinking, Max. 
This actually will have consequences, but at least she doesn't have wet socks. Up. Okay. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Brain. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw. Uh, parking lot. I wanted the dog to hit my car. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by a car though. I have a conscience. <laughs> Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. We're not stealing the RV. Down the coast of Big Sur and beyond. Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway, and you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Daydreaming. You scope the area while I hack his computer for info. I think the doggy likes his bone more. Frank is almost a made-for-TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Frank must have a reason to keep a police raider nearby. That would be so cool to take this baby on the road with Chloe. The archetypal filthy guy dishes. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Crappy wife. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. Zip, not a nothing. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. Soda spaghetti bags. Yet? Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. How can somebody live like this? He has three toothbrushes. There is one man living in this RV. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. What's up, frog? How's it going? I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. You're dumb. Is Frank going to deal online now? Noob's guide to a web business. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. The knife! That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. And they didn't get hit by a car today. Look at us go. No more secrets. Ooh, Frank's stash. Sell his stash back to him for the money that Chloe owes him. Max, you didn't tell me you took photos of Frank in action. I'm seriously ignoring you. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. We have two vents we need to pry open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. It's gonna break off in this vent. Can we break it? Yup. 
And it's empty. Nothing here. Uh -huh. This one, My though. Blade will open any portal. And it breaks. It didn't break. Okay. Oh, man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it on you and poor Pompadou. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life, and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You're one of the best things I have here, and I smile when I think of us together. Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, heart. Rachel Amber. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. I did call it. Frank, that was not cool what you did and don't blame the drugs. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act the way you did. The way and next time will be the last. I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need a break to break our routine. So, Rachel Amber. <laughs> I'm a Leo and we don't look back. A candy bar. Oh, that's the one she's. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! <laughs> Threw his keys on the roof? I do have water. Frog, what's up? I, I have water. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh, yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you.
Oh my God, what is happening now? It's like Super Mario where you didn't go into the picture. She gets sucked in. She got sucked in. Someday dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just uh Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. I might just allow this one into the family album. Now, You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crepes. I'm 18 years I old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? Mom said it depends. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. I'll let her know that. And this is the last time, unless I change it. I love William like he was in my own family. I won't let him die today. I won't. Joyce loves William so much. Good luck. I'll be we're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two wheels waffles in your own house. You're a loving wife. Hello? Where's the phone? Hey, honey. I'll answer that. Don't worry about it, William. Hello? What a mess we made. Just a fad I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Oh, yeah, I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. Aha! You Whoa. can't hide from- Give me those keys! Score! Hello? My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course, I'll come pick you up. That's a cool snow dough. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? I hid them. For the swear jar. I hid your you keys. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shh. 
shit. Where are those keys? Two dollars. Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. <gasps> You're joking. I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Can I rewind? I messed that up. We are hiding the keys somewhere else. Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two- I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Sold every day. But Never Maxine. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella?
Chloe, you have a visitor. Oh. I wonder what happened, bro. Oh, well that is the end of episode three. Yeah, I left the money. Oh, that's from the first episode. Okay. Oh. oh. All right, homies. Well, that's the end of episode three, so we're gonna end it here. But thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for all the follows, subs, bits, cheer, and all that good stuff. Um, if you want to see the previous in uh, installments of this series, I have them on YouTube. You can go ahead and check them out. All the socials are in the about panels. So I will see you guys later, and thanks for watching hanging out. Boop! <laughs>